Our first Sheppey adventure took us across the island. This time we returned to Sheppey for a closer look. We first noticed this unassuming anti-aircraft pom-pom gun mount sitting in a Tesco's car park. We next had a look at this World War II era searchlight emplacement, not dissimilar to those at Shoebury Ness. Sheerness Naval Dockyard ran for four centuries and over the years has had to be defended in many ways. Whilst a commercial port runs in its place, its heritage is largely neglected. We returned to the World War II No. 1 Bastion Coastal Battery as there was still something we had missed. Underneath one of the gun pits lies an underground air raid shelter or magazine. But our main target was the much older centre bastion we saw from a distance in our previous video. These giant structures are nothing short of intimidating. Furthermore, they sit in full view of the active port. First we reach this pillbox believed to be from early in the First World War, along with the rest of the centre bastion's towers which were built in the style of older martello towers possibly as camouflage. The concrete observation post and minefield control tower was built on the roofs of the two towers in World War II, this one being the observation tower. The buildings look huge inside, but very few sections were reachable given their heights. We were not alone, so we had to keep our heads down. We now had to work our way to the surviving sections of the original Victorian part of Centre Bastion. Shit. Right, there's a tunnel. There's a tunnel. Whilst this gun pits were superseded by the towers, its underground magazines still remain. The towers would have been originally connected by walkways to keep the defenders high above, and as such there was no way into the minefield tower, but we had found the tunnels. Have a look. Quite considerable old lights. Yeah, it's not bad to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't know, would you? I didn't know this was just a fan here like this. Oh yeah. Yes, I mean it's not exactly loads, but it's something, something. We had found a metal shell lift, rusted but intact. This would have passed shells up to the original Victorian gun pits, although those are now either buried or destroyed. Nobody really knows.
Other sections of these tunnels extend into several similar magazines. The large rectangular tower is slightly different from the rest. This was the fire control for the two Martello style gun towers. It was apparently disguised as a house. Again, we could only reach the ground floor, but it was still well worth returning to. If you haven't seen it already, go and take a look at our Sheppy video where we explore more of Sheerness and bunkers across the aisle. Also, there's a great video from IKS Exploration looking round Centre Bastion in a bit more detail.